How can, in a sense, this new revolution empower people? It's about empowering those in the village who cannot eat, who cannot go to school because they have no shoes, because I cannot, by four o'clock, eat something, because I do not go to school with something to eat to sustain them during the day. It is about those people who cannot see, or that you pass on the road on a, some form of mobility, but who have no mobility. And about those people who may not live out their full life because of HIV AIDS or other terminal illnesses. And for me, that is the revolution. So, I have, since I've been in Kenya, and I've been forced to be in Kenya for the last couple of years with my family, and I, I noticed there was a marvelous international school where my son is lucky to go to. And they have fantastic facilities. And the parents pay, not mine, they pay about $18,000 $18, a year for the privilege. But within 400 meters, there is a school which those parents do not visit, which the teachers do not have any uh, currency with. And there are 1,150 children that go to that state primary school. 150 of them are orphans. 50 of them are HIV orphans. Now, why is it that an international school sitting in Karen in Nairobi can send its children to Paris and to Luxembourg or to St. Petersburg on outings, but it cannot send those children next door. If we here produce through whatever revolution we have, an elite, and I don't care what color they are, what religion they are, but if we produce simply another elite, then you guarantee the future of this continent is going to be very poor. And you can have whatever technology you like, but if it retains just the technology for the elite, then you will fail. So what I am doing here as a dinosaur, potentially, is to prevent the extinction of our own people.